So here's a warning though, if we're talking about adding on software, if we're talking about adding on integrations, if we're talking about that. Um, there was a software services company, uh, 1E, companies and organization waste 37% of their software spend. Why? Uh, lack of knowledge, what it does, and lack of capabilities. You get software, we want software to do it, but we don't invest in the time that's required to train our team to use it to its fullest. Um, we all, and we always use the excuse, we're too busy. But if we're losing money because of poor communication and we're losing money because of not training our people how to use the software to its fullest, can you really afford that? Do you have the budget and do you have it written into the budget that says, here's what we're gonna waste this year with bad communication and, and not training our people on the software? Um, I don't, I've never seen that in a budget line item. Um, hopefully you don't have that, but in essence, that's what we're doing when we don't empower our team, A, with giving them the tools that they need, but B, giving them the training they need uh, in requiring it. Some of it too, we hear a lot of, um, oh my gosh, they're just so used to the other way or they won't do it or did it. That should not be an option. If you invest in this tool, you train them on the tool and you require them to use the tool. Um, I know that's easier said than done, but we've got to stop giving ourselves excuses to fail. And that's what we do when we have uh, allow a culture in our organizations of poor communication and lack of training to continue. We're giving us an excuse to be a failure in this end and waste money that should be actually pointed towards and used for the mission whatever the mission of your church is, that's what it should be used for, but we're using it as a buffer to, to be an excuse to be lazy. So, sorry, that's a little soapbox uh, for me, but lack of knowledge, lack of understanding, that can be addressed uh, and it should be addressed with training comes in. Uh, and again, the higher comfort level with other tools. Oh, I don't wanna use that um, because I like this. Poor communication, it's hard to be on the same page and the same you know, the same word in the same paragraph on the same page of the same book when there's 14 different books in use. Um, I get one person may like one, one thing better, but you're a team. Uh, sometimes you have to make um, choices and sacrifices. Uh, so finish, not really sacrifice, to be on the same page with everybody else. Uh, and then free, uh, a lot of people like to use free software, free products, free, free, free. Uh, you get what you pay for. Um, and they're not always the best. They're free, they're free for a reason uh, because they're not at the level in many cases that they need to be um, or they're not mission centric or mission focused. Uh, and then again, training, lack of not just initial training, but ongoing training. Um, you don't master something by one two hour class. You master it by what is it? 5,000 hours or 10,000 hours, something like that. Now, if you wanted 5,000 hours of training, talk to Lee, I'm sure he would write you that. But in essence, we, you need to train your team. You need to hold them accountable. You need to ask them questions. What is not working well for you? What is working well for you? What tricks do you use? Um, and again, when they become better with the tool, we become better communicators because we're not spending time being frustrated with our efficiency tools and making poor communication mistakes and, 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 and again, it, it, it adds to it. Because we've got a tool that, that works well, hopefully, then we can concentrate again on getting that communication better and using the tool to help us communicate better and to hold everybody accountable.